Well, morning guys. Um, gonna do another mod to the 2016 Mustang. Um, just got these delivered yesterday. And uh, let's just take a look at it. Well, I've already opened them up and inspected them to make sure they weren't damaged. That's the reason the boxes are open. Uh, what we got in here is uh, a V series grill replacement. And this is the upper and lower. This is the upper and lower, the upper and lower uh, grill replacement. And uh, the thing that uh, kind of concerns me just a little bit is I'm going to lose the pony, but I really do like the looks of the uh, grills. Anyway, that's my project today. I'm going to gather up my tools um, and uh, we'll get started here. Uh, it's been really rainy here in California. At least I'm not dealing with snow like a lot of people are around the country. But uh, uh, anyway, we'll uh, hope. Hopefully, there's enough break in the uh, in the weather here to where I can do most of the work out on the driveway before I have to pull it up in the garage because it's, it's pretty tight here in my garage. Anyway, uh, one of these days I hope to get a, a a bigger shop, and that might be in my future. So uh, we'll see. That's something that we've been talking about and and maybe we'll be making a move and we've been here for a, for many many years but uh, i would like to have a bigger place to work and so that might be in our future in the next uh, few months to a year so anyway i'm going to go ahead and get started on this hopefully the weather will uh, stay uh, kind to me and not get me all soaking wet and uh, i'll be able to get uh, this front end of this car off here anyway i got to get these uh these plastic uh, scrivets out of the way so I can get this deck off and uh, so I'm going to use a screwdriver and this trim tool uh, to do that so let's go ahead and get started here try that up oh took off on me <laughs> sure didn't expect that Thing went flying. Okay, you want to put these in a in a safe place and, and not lose them. So anyway, got that first one out, and I'm going to get all the rest of them out, and uh, and we can get this out of the way. piece of the puzzle. Okay, got to um, take out these bolts right here. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, I'm gonna use a, uh, it's a 5 16 socket. Um, I saw a guy, a guy on YouTube, he used a, uh, I think it was an eight millimeter on these, but the 516 socket seems to fit better. So that's what I'm gonna use. First one out. Okay, I got those out. Now, a smaller bolt underneath this rubber flap right here that I have to get out and I'm going to be using a 732nd uh, socket to get that out. You just got to kind of move this uh, rubber flap over. OK, 
Okay, it looks like I got all the top bolts out now, and now I got to work on getting the. Uh, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but uh, I did another video on putting the CDC Outlaw spoiler on here. I got to take that off and get out of my way before I can get underneath there and get those uh, those bolts uh, underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off right now. Now it's times like this that I'm glad that I didn't use the uh, adhesive that they called for on this uh, CDC uh, Outlaw spoiler because it would have been a really pain to get off but I should be able to just just unclip it off there now that I've got those scrivets out of the way in the fender wells just like that well the next thing I'm going to do is there's a there's a bolt up in here that you have to get to and so you have to take out these scrivets uh, down here and so I'm going to do that now and get those scripts out of the way so I can get that fender wheel bent down so I can get to that bolt. I'm going to take that bolt out. Anyway, it's right up in there. Right up there. So anyway, I'm going to get that off. i got to take that off and then uh, I'm going to take a break and then probably start working on this thing again tonight because I'm running out of time. Okay, guys, I uh, finally got that, uh, that little screw out. That was a pain in the rear end. Um, and I'm doing this by myself, so... I had to stick a football in here to hold this uh, fender well down so I could get to this and I just used a seven millimeter socket and uh, and ratchet to get it off. Okay, once you get that seven mil uh, millimeter uh, little bolt out from underneath here, um, then these are just, it's just held by clips. So you just pull it out. It's like that. Now you got that loose, and then make sure you disconnect your lights down here, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, I got all the lights disconnected. Had to do the football trick on this other side too. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a break. And guess what I found? Instructions. <laughs> they were hidden in the package there. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna be uh, at this stage right here. See if you can see that the splash guard here and you can see all the red dots all around it and that's all the bolts i got to take out so so i got to get the car jacked up and get it off the ground and then i'm going to start taking all those bolts out looks like i'm going to have enough room so i'm going to get underneath there and start trying to take things apart We'll roll up underneath there and, uh, and we'll see what happens. Okay, looks like I've got a whole bunch of stuff to take apart down here. And I've got a seven millimeter socket it's gonna take to, to get started off with for these right here. These all gotta come out all across the, the front here. And they're all seven millimeters, so looks like there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of them across the front here that I gotta take out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay guys, um, it says in the instructions that uh, you have to take this entire splash guard out and uh, I just took the front and they are all seven millimeter and the instruction says eight millimeter but it's not it's a seven millimeter socket so I took all these out and it looks like that uh, that that bumper is gonna come off now so I'm gonna go ahead and try and take it off right now looks like there's a there's a couple pins right here that kind of help hang this uh, in place here so I'm gonna try and just uh, I'm gonna try and just lift the uh, bottom out bottom of the bumper and uh, it should come right off there but anyway it looks like there's two pins right here and right over here got it off there didn't have to take that entire splash guard off in the instructions it says to take the splash guard off so you can get to the electrical connections but I did that earlier through the uh, through the fender wells uh, 
when I used my football trick. I had enough room in there to disconnect those. So take this over here and I think I might turn my heater on. So I might have to narrate the next uh, part of the video while I do this grill because uh, this uh, heater that I have in here sounds like a jet engine. <laughs> Okay, the next step is to um, get this center part of the grill out and it's got these clips all the way around it so you're just gonna have to be patient and uh, undo each one of those clips so I'm gonna start working my way around this thing get to get these loose just took a screwdriver and just kind of turned it like that to get that clip loose That doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. It's got to kind of pull up on it at the same time. Okay, centerpiece is loose. Got it out. Okay, now I'm going to start working on these uh, on the grill here itself. It's just a lot more rigid. This is a lot more rigid plastic here, uh, the grill itself, so it's, uh, it's a lot harder to get these things to let go. Mm, man. Okay, I got one side loose, this whole side's loose. I just had to work my way around with the screwdriver at each one of these tabs and stick it in there and pry it out and uh, you have to apply pressure up. And uh, I used a trim tool to lift up on it as I was going along while I pushed with the screwdriver on these so this one's off so now I'm gonna work on this I'm gonna work on this lower one here took a little while to do that but uh, it's off there now so that's the bottom part and I'm gonna Get the new ones and uh, get those popped in place. They should go in easier than taking them out. Should just snap in place. Let's see what happens here. Get those tabs lined up. Okay, there it is. That's simple. Putting them in is not a problem. Taking them out, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, that lower one's a little bit harder. That do. Um, for some reason these uh over on this on this side over here weren't clamping down so I had to use a small screwdriver to kind of pry up in in the an area here to to get them to clip in so anyway they're in and uh so yeah I gotta put that uh, center piece in can't forget that and it has a uh has a mark on here it says up so you know you know which way it goes up and that's up so that's the way it's going in okay got the centerpiece in now we're ready 
Well, there it is. Now all I gotta do is put it back on the car. Like I said, you just put it back uh, in the reverse order. So anyway guys, uh, we got her installed. I think it looks great and uh, it took a little patience uh, and a little bit of time to get this this bumper off and replace the grill. Uh, this is the MMD V-Series grill. I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video so you can go on American Muscle and, and take a look at it for yourself. Um, I hope this video may have helped you uh, if you decide to do a project like this and if it did, Please smash that like button and please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. I think we're all done shooting video. We're all done shooting video. Let's quit. Oh. <sighs>